Welcome to Krebs Matrix MLS system. This video will guide you through creating new listings in Matrix. Let's get started. To begin, click on the Input tab. Once you're on the Input page, you are given three options, Add New, Edit Existing Listings, or Quick Modify where you can pull up a listing by its MLS number or select from the drop-down list that shows the listings you've already started to create. Let's choose Add New. Here you are given several options to categorize the type of property you are entering, from detached, attached, apartment, rental, land, or mobile. Please note, Matrix is property-centric. You will no longer have to choose a property class for your listing, like rural or residential. Instead, when thinking about the correct property type for your listing, simply think about whether it's attached to another property or detached. Is it an apartment? If you are listing land, meaning a property that does not have a dwelling on it, this includes rural acreage parcels and vacant residential lots, select land. For a mobile home on a rented or leased lot, select mobile. Let's select detached. Matrix begins the input process with tax search. Here you are given several options to find the tax information for your listing. You can use the area and community fields, Enter the full legal street address or search by link number. Let's enter a street address under the address fields and click on search. You should now see the results of your search. Click on fill at the beginning of the result that matches your property to auto-populate information into your listing. After clicking fill, the listing input form now displays with your tax auto fields completed for you. Remember to always verify the information in the auto-populated fields. You will now need to complete the remainder of the mandatory fields before you can submit your new listing. Notice the number of different tabs along the top of the page. In Matrix, the listing fields have been conveniently grouped for you under each tab to assist you in entering and editing your listings. No more scrolling through a long list of criteria. Also, notice the map box to the right of your screen. This is where you'll need to correctly map your listing. You may also set the Google Street View. Let's do this now. Below the map box, you will find two options. Set Latitude Longitude Manually and choose Google Street View. Let's click on Set Latitude Longitude Manually to map the listing. If you've already populated the address, the map will display with the approximate location of the property. You simply need to select Place Pin and click on the property location on the map. You can also use the map to search for a property using the Jump To function or typing in the address and clicking Locate. You can zoom in and out and move around in the map to select the correct location. Click on Choose Google Street View and make sure it's pointing at the correct property. Now that the property is mapped, you can continue inputting your listing. On the input page, you'll notice that some of the criteria fields are shaded. These are the required fields. As you input further information for your listing, more or less fields may become mandatory. The best way to check what you still need to add is to select the Validate button at the bottom of the page, after filling in the information under each tab. Let's click on the Validate button now. Notice that a red circle will appear next to the fields and tabs that you need to complete before submitting your listing. Once you've completed inputting the necessary information under a tab, click on the Next tab. Let's click on the General tab. Here you'll find a group of criteria fields that need to be entered. Some of the fields are displayed in a scroll-down box with checkboxes. There is no limit to how many options you may select in these boxes. You will notice that some fields appear to have multiple requirements. Let's look at possession, for example. Here, if you populate one of the fields, the others are no longer required. Remember to click on the Validate button to see what is outstanding. Let's now click and explore the Remarks and Links tab. This is an easy way to manage your comments and additional links all in one place. You'll recognize the first three boxes as advertising upgrades available for your listing. You can also select Take Photo to have a photographer sent out to take an exterior image of the property. These are all services provided at an additional cost. Please note, a listing cannot become active until a picture is uploaded. Under this tab, you have the opportunity to add a link to a brochure, virtual tour, additional images, map or soundbite link you've created. You will also have a place to add additional remarks which will be displayed on realtor.ca for the public along with the public remarks. Matrix has conveniently grouped information into specific tabs. Check out the rural and condo specific tabs. 
Notice that our search doesn't have any required fields in these tabs since we are listing a property that is neither rural nor a condo. Let's take a look under the Rooms tab. Here you will need to input the information for the rooms and bathrooms. Click on the drop down arrow to the right of the room type box. You will see a variety of choices. Select a room and input the length, width, and level for it. There is no limit on the number of rooms you can add. To add the next room, simply click on the More button to the right and a new box will appear. Repeat this process until you've added all of the rooms in the property. When inputting bathrooms, enter the amount under the types of bathrooms the listing has. Complete your listing by inputting all of the required information under each tab. Once you have finished adding as much information as possible, you will need to load at least one photo to your listing before you'll be able to submit it. Before adding your photos to your listing, you may want to create a folder on your computer to store them so you can easily locate them when uploading to Matrix. To upload photos, you have to first save your listing as incomplete. Once you've done this, you'll notice the Add Edit Photos button. You can also add additional PDF documents in the Add Supplements tab, a convenient document manager. Click on the Add Edit Photos button. You will see a box where you can browse your computer to find your photos folder. Let's click on it now. Matrix helps you save time by uploading all your photos at once. Select them all and click the Open button. Once you've selected your photos, take a look at the order. If you want to change this order, simply click on an image you would like to move and drag it to the desired position. You may also click on the icon in the top right hand corner of the box to add a description for your photos. Once your photos have been uploaded and you've finished with modifications, click the Save button. After inputting your listing information and uploading your images, it's time to activate your listing. Let's go back to the top of the screen and click on the Input tab. You will need to click on the drop down arrow to the right of the quick modify box and select your saved incomplete listing. Now click on the second option, change to active. Here you will see a brief description of your listing to verify that you have selected the correct one. Click on the submit button and you have successfully added a new listing in Matrix. Thank you for watching this CRED Matrix video. We hope it was a useful tool in learning how to input listings in the MLS system. If you'd like further guidance with adding your new listings, contact Krebs Help Desk by email at helpdesk at kreb.ca or call 403-781-1379. Comprehensive training opportunities and user guides are also available on the Matrix Hub on Kreb link. If you have additional questions or feedback on Krebs' transition to Matrix, submit them to matrix at kreb.ca.